Hello again. I must confess that I was surprised to see Russell Brand being baptised in the River Thames recently by Bear Grylls, the uh, television expert in survival, former soldier and, of course, one-time chief scout. Grylls is also, of course, a Christian. Why was I surprised to see Russell Brand being baptised by him in the Thames? For one thing, although it is, of course, permitted by canon law in extreme circumstances, this is the first time I've ever heard of anybody in this country being baptised by somebody other than a member of the clergy. It is a freakishly rare event. The usual course of events is that those being baptised as adults have to attend a series of classes at a local church in preparation for becoming Christians. This is a serious business because, of course, baptism washes away all one's sins and one is reborn in the Holy Spirit. It's not something to be undertaken lightly. That is the first odd thing that a baptism should be carried out not by a clergyman, but rather a famous television presenter. The second odd thing is that it was done in a river rather than a church. From time to time, of course, baptisms of this kind are performed in the River Jordan in Israel, which is where John the Baptist began the whole idea although it is, of course, as uh, some viewers will know, based upon the uh, mikvah ritual bath in Judaism. I have never in my life heard of baptism being carried out in the River Thames, though. There are various other minor points about the ceremony which seemed odd, such as having somebody photograph it and putting the pictures on social media and sending them to the newspapers. This is definitely something I've never known happen as an adult baptism in church. Can any viewers remember seeing photographs of an adult being baptised like that? Making such a public display of the thing in this way, combined with the unconventional way it was done, raises the suspicion that this was part of a stunt rather than a genuine case of welcoming in the Holy Spirit. I have known this kind of thing happen in prisons when somebody is angling for early release and of course it has become a fairly popular gambit for illegal immigrants who are in danger of having their applications for asylum turned down. Russell Brandt doesn't fall into either of these categories of course but it's not difficult to see why he might have a possible motive for this other that is than the purely religious. It will be recalled that last year he was interviewed by the police about some alleged sexual activities, although he was not, of course, charged. It was also claimed that he was fooling around with a 16-year-old schoolgirl, although, again, we don't know how true this might be. Following the emergence of these allegations, YouTube demonetized his channel since he had six and a half million subscribers to that channel, I'm guessing that he was pulling in around a million pound a year from YouTube. The sudden loss of a million pound a year would make a dent in anybody's income, and it must have been quite a blow. He's still earning on Rumble, of course, but even so, having his income fall so dramatically must have been a shock. It was not the only financial hit he took. Although he still went ahead with a stage performance in September 2023, shortly after the news broke about the accusations being made against him, since then he has not appeared on the stage or television. To put the case bluntly, nobody will touch him, and it rather looks as though his career as a comedian and actor is over. This too must have come as something of a shock. The BBC are currently deleting his old stuff from iPlayer as they no longer wish to be associated with him in any way. 
This is what it's like these days when you're accused of sexual misconduct of this kind. People run for cover and you find yourself being dropped like a hot potato. I need hardly say that I have no idea at all if any of what has been said about Russell Brand's conduct is true, but that hardly matters in the modern world, does it? Men have been ruined for much less than this. I suppose that this finding Jesus lark might be a tentative step on the road to Brad's rehabilitation. I don't of course mean that in a religious sense, that he is repenting of his sins or getting right with the Lord or any foolishness of that kind. No, what I rather mean is that by appearing in public in this way, with a well-known and highly respected television personality, who is, as everybody knows, a Christian himself, Russell Brand is hoping that this might be the beginning of getting his foot in the door and resurrecting his career. I seriously doubt that in the long term, what he is earning via Rumble will be enough to maintain his celebrity lifestyle and enable him to carry on as he had been doing before all this business erupted. My guess is that he's already living on capital, at least to some extent, and this is a first step on the road to financial disaster. If I am right, then he will live with a decent space, perhaps a month or two, and then try and get himself photographed on some venture with Bear Grylls, hoping that some of the respectability might wear off on him. Of course, all this would depend upon no further accusations of sexual impropriety being made against him, and assuming that the police <coughs> do not end up charging him with anything. By the summer, if there's no further width of scandal, he might be able to get a few friends to bemoan the awful nature of cancel culture, which has destroyed the career of a man who was the subject of unsubstantiated rumours and allegations. I dare say that he will be seen at some church services as well, to underline the fact that he is a reformed man and has been forgiven his sins, at least by the Lord. It's actually not a bad strategy at all as far as it goes, and as long as he can steer clear of any more controversy in the sexual line for a bit longer, <coughs> he might even be able to pull it off. If I were in his place, I'm not at all sure that I too might not find it worthwhile to get religion in this way. Because at the very least, there is nothing at all to lose by such a tactic. And who knows, it might very possibly work. Let's face it, everybody loves a reformed sinner. <laughs>